everyone, Comic Reviewy here, and this time reviewing on Green Arrow Rebirth, issue number one. Now, as you know, the Rebirth series was mainly fixing what the new 52 broke and adding in what should have been. So the cover mainly has Green Arrow looking at his arrow, which has lit up. And the story starts off how at Seattle, after a dinner basically gone wrong with differences, Green Arrow mainly, Oliver, I, said, I would say, is talking with a chef saying, a bit rich, but otherwise good. Thanks, Tommy. Until next time, Mr. Queen, take care. And so we see Oliver seeing a homeless kid and his mum and gives the kid the kid mainly some change and the mother's like stay here and guard our things mommy will be back right back and so as soon as she goes to get it she ends up getting taken away and we see like in the night of seattle where an unknown person has taken the kid and Oliver shows up as Green Arrow now with his goatee and mainly goes to confront who the person is. And turns out the person is Black Canary. And I do admit I like her new getup. It kind of makes her look more punk rock and what she should be. So after this, they mainly talk saying, I'm sorry, I thought, it's alright, we only met once before. I hardly recognize you myself, hidden under the, all that hair. So after Oliver mainly takes the kid to his apartment and gets him cleaned up, and her and, and Oliver mainly talk, well Oliver does a little clean shave. And mainly, Black Canary does point out how the Justice League and the Gotham crew and that talk about about you know his his rap as a sentimentalist jerk. And this is a moment where they both have differences because mainly because Black Canary is meant to be the hard rock one living on the streets and that. Well, Oliver basically does what he can to help people and we do see them slowly forming a relationship but it takes a little time so we're shown at an area in seattle called the jungle where after oliver gets the kids some clothes from his half sister imiko we see oliver in that talking saying don't you dare say that you play the hero of the common man in the streets, and then you go home and bathe in champagne, and sleep on a mattress of money, and as if you got it rough, little Miss Rockstar. And yeah, this is a moment where they're spoke, speaking about different opinions. But Oliver mainly points out that, you know, he had it rough himself, and that he learned what he could on the island. And we got a moment where Black Canary says, I care because I used to be that kid, bouncing between foster homes and the streets. How about we trade, huh? I'll take your island any day. And so we see the kid reuniting with his dad, but suddenly something happens. And you got these zombie-like people trying to take women and all that. And Oliver and Black Canary combine their attacks. Oliver mainly firing arrows. And Black Canary using her sonic cry. And leaving Oliver pretty impressed. And taking one down by the knee. And they find out where they need to go. So they mainly go in. And head to where an auction is happening off. And they're like. Before we begin. Let me remind you. That this is feed is consumed by. 20 VPN rallies, and so they are planning to auction off the kid's mum, and suddenly Oliver and Black Canary show up, mainly stop the auction in time, and also mainly confront a guy that's like Slenderman, throws her down into a pit, but manages to rescue her just in time. 
So after this, Oliver confronts the, the masked guy, saying that he will drag him down and destroy him. And says, you, you know what it feels like to be no one. And that's a promise. And so afterwards, Oliver and Black Canary pretty much talk about who they are. And it kind of gives you that feeling that, yeah, they are mainly going to form a relationship. And this is the story. So, what do I think? I think the issue is pretty good. But I think I would have liked to have seen more. More. Because I feel like they do throw the story in too quickly. And you could have had a moment that couldn't involve the Nine Circles. But involve Oliver and Black Canary meeting. And basically trying to stop Count Virgo and seeing who they could have been. So the story is not too bad, and I think it deserves a thumbs up. Still good, and still right. So, comic reviewer here, signing out.